Hey guys, welcome back again. Happy New Year, guys. It's 2022. I cannot believe it. Like, 2021 was just went by fast. It was a crazy year for me. And I'm pretty sure for everyone else as well. But I'm going to get into my um, end of year 2021 goals to see if we've reached any. And also share with you guys my 2022 goals. So, um, I reflected, you know, in December. I have been sick for the last couple months. Um, you guys don't know this, but I am, um, I've been really sick for about six months now. And I actually suffer with uh, fibromyalgia. And I've been diagnosed with that since 2016 but in 2021 it, it just took a toll on my body so I have been physically out of the loop for quite a few months now um November and December I just took some time off to try to get myself back together and in that time I caught the flu I got a cold it, it was just a mess in December and I'm still right now I'm still getting over the flu um so if I'm seem a little off that's why because I'm still trying to get over that but um so that's what I've been dealing with that's what I've been battling with for the last four years but 2021 and the stress in 2021 the job loss and everything like that kind of took its toll on my body physically so I needed to take, I needed to take some time for me to heal, and I'm still in the process of healing and getting to back somewhat normal. But it it, it truly is a process. And if anyone out there know anything about fibromyalgia, it's a chronic illness. It affects your muscles and your sometimes your joints, depending on the person. It affects your moods. Um, and you're in pain, chronic pain, constantly on a regular basis. It's a lot with it. And I have been dealing with that for a while now, since 2014. But I was actually diagnosed in 2016 because there is no actual testing for it. And it takes a really, really long time to get diagnosed. And that's what I've been battling with um, last year. So I'm... That's why I have not really been too active on making videos and things like that because I've just been trying to rest my mind and my body and trying to heal it. But I'm ready and I'm back for 2022 to get back in the swing of things. It might take me some time to get caught up on some updates as far as like debt and savings and things like that. I'm just going to start fresh with the January budget. I'm not even going to really close out December's budget and start anew. So that's my goal for myself is to start fresh for 2021. My kind of what I'm going with this year is to reset, refocus with intention. And I'll get into that when I get into my 2022 goals. But for now, these I'm going to share, see if we achieve any 2021 goals. Going into 2021, I had really big, high ambitions, really big, big, big goals and really big thoughts. And as you know, 2021 did not go as I had planned, which life doesn't. But um, I did make some progress and I will share with you guys on here the progress that I did make. So, for my financial goals, my number one goal for this year was to pay off $8,000 in student loan debt. And that includes my student loan number one, which was $2,700, and my student loan number two, which was $4,196. I did not achieve these goals, but I will type in here accomplished I'm, I'm going to, to put here what I started my debt oh my gosh come on down 
2021, I started with $23,983 and we ended the year with $23,983.10 is what I ended 2021 with in my debt. Mid-year, uh, probably around April, I think, I decided to attack my student loan interest, which was about, I think, 12000 12, 6000 I cannot remember. But anyway, um... That's that's where we are at this point. That I ended with twenty three thousand nine hundred eighty three dollars and ten cents. But with that being said, I did add on some credit card debt, which was about at the end of December. It's about four thousand dollars is what I owe, and that was a bummer. But it is what it is. And for my second financial goal was to save six thousand dollars in my emergency fund and sinking funds what i did wind up saving was hey guys this is editing kelly on january 30th i um but the video cut off as you've seen that video was previously done at the beginning of January but for some reason I lost a lot of footage and I'm not sure what happened but I am here to finish up my 2021 goal wrap up and we were on goal number two which was for me to save $6,000 for emergency fund and yes the look it looks a little different but that's okay so we were on this one and I managed to actually save uh, $5,300 or $400. And that was just my emergency fund only. I did not really have no sinking funds last year. I just mainly had car insurance and gifts. I had stopped like the mid part of the year. So that's all I had. And my third goal was to have 500 subscribers here on YouTube by the end of last year. That did not happen, and that's okay. I do thank you guys for sticking in there with me while I was gone for a while. Um, and as far as my Etsy shop, my Etsy income, I wanted to bring in at least a thousand dollars for the year. That did not happen, and I will be releasing some new things in the near soon future, but um, for my what is it i'm sorry for my um goal number four was to read three books two educational and one entertainment i did read um start reading the broke millennial and the power of habit i did not finish those and i did not read anything for entertainment and goal number five was to practice self-care i know that's spelled incorrectly but that's going to be going to roll with it. Um, and I had started going to the gym last year, but then I stopped. But um, that's okay. So the a lot of my goals were not met. I am happy about the fact that I did get my student loans down about $3,000 plus. And I was, was able to save some money. For my emergency fund because I did not foresee me not having a job. So I'm grateful for that. I just know some of these things I just need to work on for next year. Well, for this year. And we're going to roll with it. So now I'm going to roll on over to my 2022 goals. And get you guys out of here. So my financial goals for 2022 is of course number one is to finish school which will be next month it will well actually will be in march and also to get a job that is my number one goal for this year is to get a job um i 
basically stopped looking for a job in November. I was just too ill and too sick to even mentally do it. I did have an interview in De- two interviews in December. Didn't didn't get it, but that's fine. That's okay. But we're gonna roll with this year, and I'm going to get a job this year. I'm speaking it in to existence. I will have a nice paying job this year, and I'll be able to complete a lot of my financial goals. My goal number two for 2022 is to fund my emergency fund up to 3000 by the end of the year. And um, I have it this low. Technically, I want to save six months, which I realized with not having a job, I can live on so, so, so much less um, than I was when I had a job. So... With that being said, I would like to have at least three months worth of minimum expenses for the in my account, but and that's way more than three thousand dollars. But I just have that three thousand just to get a jump start because everything financial goals are pending on the job that I get. Um, my third goal, financial goal, is to pay off my two credit cards that I accumulated last year. One, um, well, they both are zero percent interest, and one I um have it will end in the interest will end in July, and that's the highest one. That's the one that's two thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars, and I would like to pay that off by the billing statement or billing cycle for July. So that's my goal for that one, and for. The second credit card is like a thousand and something remaining that in zero percent interest ends in December. So I have time for that one. Goal number four is to pay off my student loan number one, which you have a remaining balance of nine hundred and ninety six dollars. And I would like to do that by the time the interest kicks back in or whatever. But as you all know, I did state last year that I did apply for the student loan discharge um, program. And I found out that that takes about a year or so, year or two, to get um, approved or to hear something back or to be approved or denied. And I really don't want to wait that long. Plus, in 2021, um, summer 2021, I applied for a student loan tax credit. Um, Our... Merlin Higher Education here in Merlin, they provide um, us with a tax credit that can go towards your student loans. Of course, you have to show proof once you pay it. You have to send them proof that you paid whatever amount that they give you. And I, this is my second time applying for it. I applied for it back in 2000 and I think it was 19. And I received it then. I, that time I received like $1,000. And this time I was approved for it again. And I will f- have to follow with my taxes for 2021 taxes. And I will get um, back $875 is what they rewarded me. And this is, ba- I think it's based off your, I don't, I think I think you ever have to have a, a income um limit but I think it's like maybe it's like 60 70 I I cannot remember but I know I think it's based off your limit if you live here in Merlin you can actually go to um, I think they start back up in July you can start back um you can go on the Merlin Health Education um website to see what the requirements are so I have that, and that's how I'm going to pay the bulk of this loan off. And I'm out of pocket. I only will have to pay $123, which is a good thing. And as you all can know, all of these financial goals are pending job status. My personal goals for 2022 is to practice daily gratitude. Last year was tough for me physically, and I was sick, depression happened. There was a lot of things going on last year. And I 
lost track of being grateful for what I did accomplish last year. And it might not have been everything that I wanted, but God put me in a place where I was able to do a lot of things that I didn't think were possible. So my goal for this year is to practice gratitude, no matter the situation, just be grateful for where I am now versus where I was a year ago, six months ago, three months ago, a day ago. You know, just be grateful for the small things. And the second goal is to spend time with family and friends. This one is a little iffy because, you know, pandemic still going on. Um, third one is to go on dates at least twice a month. And this is also pending situation in my state with restaurants and events and places to go and things like that. And physically work out a couple times a week. I would like to start my gym membership up, but right now it's not in my budget. So I'm gonna. F- I do have an exercise bike at home, so I'm going to try to. F- I'm going to fit that in during the week to get my workouts in because I cannot do like a lot of strenuous muscle um, workouts due to my illness, but I am well I need to get to working out because the girl over here gained a little bit of weight. And yeah, so she need to get that together. So I thank you guys for watching this really super long video. Um again Edison Kelly do um wanna say sorry for the jumps around in this video, the unmatching and it's just all over the place but this was previously recorded and I did not want to re-record it all over again. But thank you guys for joining me and I will see you guys in my next video, which is my 2021 net worth update. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.